Remind me again why I waited two years to buy this book. Oh yeah, because I was somehow terrified by the $40 price tag. That is a little pricey for a tech book, especially when we all know that tech books don't have the shelf life of normal books. But this book is incredible and I regret not purchasing it when I was first learning JavaScript and jQuery. I just thought those two concepts were just more freely available online, more accurately available online, and just less overwhelmingly online. I mean, this is a lot of material. But John Duckett, so many people have said amazing things about this book, about its design, and it's beautifully designed. It has a beautiful layout, and these photos just are gorgeous. People love this book, and people leave great reviews for this book. But again, I was starting out, I said 40 bucks, that seems a little expensive. In the era of $10 Udemy courses, free online resources, documentation, uh, freely available to anyone with an internet connection, this kind of stuff just seems like you shouldn't have to pay for it. But what cost is it if you spend weeks trying to understand if-else statements going to seven different resources? What I love about this book is that it's mindful. The other thing about books, now books don't get a lot of love in the tech world. Understandable, the tech changes completely every six months, but books are beautiful because books are still very efficient at delivering information. Here's what books have that videos and other online resources don't. They have an index that you can quickly access. You cannot quickly access an index on a Udemy video you have to really search through the different modules and different chapters. Here is what this book has that videos don't have. What all books have that videos don't have. Chapters. And you can quickly go from chapter to chapter, whereas where you're trying to load a video, sometimes the flow just isn't there. With this book, the flow is here. I think it's eight chapters. Let's go to the table of contents here. And he also gives an intro to programming too, so that's nice. It does have an organizational structure that makes sense because it starts off with the basics, um, you know, arrays, data types, objects and methods, all that great stuff, and goes into stuff like JSON, um, determining position of items on the page, stuff like that. Now, I know some people may be a little skeptical of this book because it's jQuery. And true indeed, this book was published in 2014, this copy right here. I think maybe that's the latest version, I'm not quite sure. True, in 2018, you probably don't wanna be actively developing in jQuery. It's on its way out. However, many projects that you're gonna be working on they use jQuery. There are things in jQuery that you can still use, little components that you can pick out and use that are still very useful. Ajax, for example. Now, yes, we do have the fetch method. Uh, that's probably a lot cleaner, but Ajax works good too. You know, there are things in jQuery that are just really convenient. And look at this layout. Look at how this is formatted. You don't see this in any kind of video and the information is right in front of you. The other thing I will sing praises about this book is it's not bogged down with random projects. They're just, this is a reference manual and it's probably the best one out there. Can't say enough great things about this book. If you know for sure you wanna do web development, I would say get this book. If you're questioning whether or not you wanna be a web developer, stick to the Mark Myers books. They're half the price and um, they're a lot more interactive. This is a great reference manual. A lot of this stuff I already know, but I still found myself reading about it because the way he says these things is just so unique without going off the rails. He's a great technical writer, and whoever did the layout for this book deserves a bonus. Thanks for watching, guys. I recommend this, no doubt, to any web developer who plans on sticking to web development. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.